Hello everyone, we're continuing this video series on how to use Bazel with Python. Today, uh, this time we're going to look at how to use your editor and debugger successfully with Bazel Python. So let me share my screen again and we'll jump right back into the same example application we've been looking at. And this time I'm going to share my whole screen because we're going to open a subdirectory in the editor. So here is the app. And uh, as you recall, we have this main.py where we have a cow saying something it found on the internet. And for this video, the important part is that we've got these yellow squigglies. Uh, yellow and red squigglies in the editor are no good. This is something that Bazel often seems to cause. And the fix, in my opinion, is to put all the things back where the editor expected them to be. We're not going to do anything fancy and teach the editor a whole new extension about how to interact with Python the way Bazel does it. Instead, we're going to make Bazel do Python the way the editor expects. And what, that, what does that mean? That means virtual environments. Um, so we can see that in the editor, there is a way to pick which virtual environment I want to use uh, and which interpreter I want to use for the code that I have open. Uh, here we're looking at VS Code. Um, and what we're missing here is a way to create a virtual environment that has the same interpreter and libraries that Bazel already has for this project. So if we open our editor and we do a query of, let's say, app colon all, we see that we have a couple of things in here that say dot vnv. This is rules pi, and it generates these targets. These are runnable targets. And their job is to create the missing virtual environment for the editor. So if I run one of these, I'll take this one, which is for the application. Uh, it created a virtual environment. And we see that the editor noticed that we created that and says, do we like to select it? And I'll say yes. So now we see that in this bottom right-hand corner of the editor, we're using Python 3.12.3. That's what Bazel had set up. And also that we are now dropped into this virtual environment whose name is app plus app underscore bin to remind us which one of the many virtual ends in our mono repo we have just opened. So we've opened a virtual environment for this particular application and we'll have the dependencies of this application installed into a folder called site packages, which is where the editor will know to look. So now the yellow squigglies have gone away. We now have jumped to definition, and you can see the path that I just jumped to is that site packages folder within the virtual environment that we created under Bazel. So that is great. It means that now we can get things like completion and jump to definition on individual methods, and we can hop to the documentation and so on. Now, what does this look like if we want to open this in a subdirectory? So let's say you can see here that in, I've created this directory uh, at the top of my repo. If I was to open this and open just the app subdirectory, so I'll open that in a separate VS Code instance. Uh, now, of course, we have the same problem. It says, would you like to select the interpreter? It doesn't know where to look. Um, and so what we want to do is, again, we can Bazel run, but this time, since we're in this directory, it's just app underscore bin dot vnv, creates a virtual environment here in this folder. The editor detects that, offers to open it. Okay, cool. So that handles the case of running the application. What about for tests? Well, tests also have their own virtual environment, which will add a couple more things, uh, like, you know, um, PyTest will be in there. So if I run this target to create a, a test virtual environment, that is now created. I can say yes to open that one. The test in this case doesn't depend on, on the main, but it has, uh, of course, the contents here we expect. Now, what's cool is that the editor, now that it knows that we are have dropped into this virtual environment, if I open a new terminal window, we can see that we are inside of the app test virtual environment. I have a breakpoint set here. So that means I should be able to get uh, all of the normal Python debugging experience working. So for example, I can just do python-m pytest. And no Bazel involved. This is now able to do my normal developer workflow because we're in a virtual environment where all of the dependencies are installed, including the version of pytest that Bazel is managing for us. This is reproducible on everybody else's computer. And then, of course, the last trick is we want to see this breakpoint working. So for that, we go to the testing tab. Visual Studio Code wants us to tell which, Python, uh, which unit test uh, framework we're using uh, and then which directory to search in. And then it will find the test that we've got here. 
And if I was to, let's say, debug all tests in this file, then I expect to stop at this breakpoint. I can hover here, and I can see that the value of x at this point is 3. Of course, that's going to make the test pass, because 3 plus 1 should be 4. So I unpause the debugger, and the test passes successfully. So that is our brief introduction to how to make the editor work with Bazel and Python by creating virtual environments. I'll see you back here for the next video.